What's up fam and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust and Wild Honey. So today's video has been so highly requested. You guys have been asking me questions like when the review is going to come up, when we're going to have a discussion video about the shoes and things of that sort. You guys have been asking me uh, what the materials are like, um, if they're worth it and what sizing's like. And guys, I'm gonna answer all those questions in today's video. Thank you so much for your patience, and I'm not gonna make you wait any longer. Today, we're gonna be reviewing the Fear of God military sneakers. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So just after the release of the fall winter collection of Fear of God, or better known as Fourth Collection, the rumor mill started to swirl that Jerry Lorenzo had already begun a brand new project. Those rumors were predicated upon Jerry designing his first ever sneaker. With pictures like this being posted on Jerry's Instagram, there were a ton of streetwear enthusiasts going crazy. Uh, people were so excited that Jerry had stepped into this new avenue of streetwear in that he was creating his brand new sneakers. Coming into fruition is a military boot that would work in synchrony with the aesthetics of a sneaker. So now that they're in front of us, let's go ahead and look at the shape, the materials, and the aesthetics that comprise this shoe. Taking a look at the upper, we see that it is comprised of 100% high quality nylon. It's very, very thick and durable. As we work our way up through the toe box, towards the ankle region, we see that it's sectioned off by hand-stitched panels, which gives the shoe a very, very nice aesthetic and it's just an extra detail that looks very, very good. As you make your way up through the sneaker, there is a detachable high collar strap that goes on the ankle, that of which is not present on my pair. On the other side of the sneaker, we are greeted with a zipper entry, and it's not just made out of any zipper, it is the very, very high quality Riri zippers that Fear of God is widely known for. Working our way into the shoe, there are metal eyelets that are very high quality, constructed very well, and inside the shoe is 100% high quality leather, and the same goes for the insole that comprises the shoe. Just looking at the shoe holistically, guys, I'm definitely a huge fan of them. The nylon is just high quality. You can tell it's super durable, and it's gonna last a very long time. Riri zippers, you can't go wrong with them. They feel great when you're zipping them up and down. Um, everything is hand stitched in Italy, so you know you're getting a very high quality shoe. And what I actually do like about this shoe, oddly enough, is the fact that the branding is very, very minimal, which gives the shoes the opportunity to kind of speak for themselves. And I think that's what Jerry wanted to go for. Um, there's just the branding here on the back of the midsole, and it looks really good for sure, but Apart from that, there's essentially no branding. Um, here on the outsole, there is branding, but it's so minimal, you can't really notice it. One of my favorite features of the shoe, however, is the outsole. I love how it's ribbed like that. Um, I owned a pair of Cortezes by Nike, and they're just so comfortable. I don't know what it is, but it feels as though um, you get a little bit more of like shock absorption when you're walking. These shoes are very, very comfortable. So one aspect I definitely wanted to talk about was sizing. And that's because these shoes seem to run pretty dang big. Um, I went for a size 40. I'm usually a size eight and a half to size nine in US. And a size 40 constitutes a size seven and a half. So that just goes to show you um, just how big of a variation there is between uh, these shoes and say a pair of Ultra Boost or a pair of Yeezys. So definitely take that into account. Um, I'd use me as a reference and if you guys need help, additional help, feel free to DM me. These are expensive shoes guys and I highly suggest uh, we get the right size so I'd be more than happy uh, to acquiesce to your guys' request. Now that we've talked about sizing, we've looked at the aesthetics, what is my opinion on these shoes and are they worth the very, very high price point that is $1,100. Um, you can actually find them upwards of $1,500 on the resale market because they're in that high demand and these are limited shoes. My personal opinion, I say yes, absolutely, if they are a pair of shoes that you really, really like. 
When it all comes down to it guys, fashion is subjective. I say that time and time again on this channel, so there is no right or wrong answer uh, for fashion. I personally love the aesthetic of these shoes. I can wear them with just about anything. Um, I can dress them up, dress them down. I can definitely see myself wearing these a lot. I know that they're durable. I know that the quality of these shoes are definitely very, very high. And that being said, guys, um, these shoes just look really good in my opinion. So I, I personally think that they're definitely worth the price point. Just to reiterate to you, I'm not pushing these shoes on anybody. Um, I'm just speaking on my own behalf in regard to if they're worth it. Um, if you guys are a little bit on a tighter budget, I absolutely don't suggest you buy them. So that's gonna be my review on the Fear of God Military Sneakers. Just a quick synopsis. Um, they're high quality, they're super durable, they run pretty big, and they look really good in my opinion. But instead of me uh, just emphasizing how good they look, let me just go ahead and show you how they look on feet. always it's such a privilege to have the pleasure of serving you guys through making these videos so thank you so much for stopping by the channel and with all that being said as I end every video here at Locust and Wild Honey I'm gonna say peace and be blessed